I'm J.C. John Cox, President and Head Instructor of Spectre Precision LLC, located here in Northwest Arkansas. I am a current police officer in the state of Arkansas. I'm a former SWAT sniper and a current sniper instructor within law enforcement. I'm starting these videos along with Spectre Precision LLC to create a social media presence. Admittedly, I'm not that great at social me media. In fact, in law enforcement, it's long been a taboo to get too involved uh, with social media. We have to be very careful about what we say. There are, are three things that we in law enforcement try and avoid talking about at all costs. One is religion, second is politics, and the third is room combat techniques. Uh, everybody's got their own opinion. So on to the point and purpose of this video. Um, this will be my very first unboxing video ever, and I know that uh, YouTube personalities, if I can get my camera to focus here, uh, I'm, I'm using my phone, my, my actual camera is charging. Phone keeps going fuzzy, and come on, come on. So, um, let's get to it, shall we? All right, so this is uh, what was waiting for me. Uh, at the front door when I got home. I popped the top, but I have not pulled anything out yet. So let's just... This is the Magpul Pro night vision mount. Right there. And probably unnecessary for competition. But as I said, well, naturally. Here we go. I'm going to have to use both hands for this. Oh, give you a view of my messy office here. Here it is. Hot off the press. The Magpul Pro 700. Precision rifle chassis system. Let me give you a better look. Not seen a lot of these in the competitions that I've gone to. And now I know Magpul is making their presence known in the precision uh, rifle series. They've they've become more involved. Um, the difference between this and and the other uh, manufacturers that, that, that make a lot of these chassis is they tend to um, specialize in precision rifle, uh, the long gun. Whereas Magpul's a large company. All right, let's pick up where we left off. I've pulled this out of the sleeve. Lift this off, and there we have it. Rifle series chassis got the shakes like I've been drinking 30 cups of coffee. Okay, first impression it looks pretty sturdy. Um, Magpul, I've, I've always considered Magpul very high end, but uh, this is on a another level. It everything about it is uh clean very clean um all right so here we have it out of the packaging i've not mounted anything on it yet okay now we uh i just opened the bag o stuff another pistol grip a little more sweat back uh in case that's your preference. Wasn't expecting this. Came with a five round magazine. Accuracy International. Those aren't cheap. So that was unexpected. Like that. Probably the most important part of the entire package. The customary Magpul sticker. Yeah, I like stickers. Okay, ignore the uh, 
shot of my crotch. I thought I'd done quite a bit of research on this, but it just uh, surprised me again. This is something that I was not expecting. Right here. So in order to get to the action screws, the uh, pistol grip had to be loosened. Let's slide back and get, access the action screw. And I did not realize that this is an adjustable length. So highly, highly customizable. That's really, really cool. Okay. So we got it back together. Magpul Pro 700 chassis system. Uh, this is my 308 rifle, but again, it's very sturdy. Feels very substantial. Uh, it is unloaded. Empty magazine. Visually, physically inspect. Unloaded. Unloaded. All right. So. We'll go by, through it piece by piece. Uh, I'll point out the, the different stuff that, that I really like about it, um, which is pretty much everything. Uh, again, it's, a, uh, it's the folding stock option. So I can fold that over. Makes for easy storage, uh, cleaning. I can get the bolt out without having to take uh, anything apart. Let's go through it piece by piece. So we'll just start at the back and work our way to the front. Right here, at the butt stock, you've got your adjustable length of pull with its dial. You've got your adjustable comb with its its dial as well. Uh, up here, you have two set screws for the adjustable comb um, for your cheek weld. So you can slide it forward and aft, and it helps you with your eye relief to your scope. Uh, this dial right here is a locking mechanism for your uh, cheek piece. And then down here, you've got an M-lock attachment for a Picatinny rail in case you want to install like an Atlas monopod on it. Uh, moving forward, right here, we have our uh, folding stock mechanism. It has a button on top. You press it, and you can fold the stock over. Um, pistol grip. <clears throat> pistol grip has almost a vertical... Uh, profile and I really like that. Uh, there's a slight degree on it, but here's the, here's the other option that it comes with. It's got a thicker palm swell right here and uh, a little more sweat back. But again, as I pointed out earlier, uh, this pistol grip is actually adjustable forward and aft as well uh, for your your trigger squeeze. Uh, don't be surprised that I keep my firearms cruiser ready but in the interest of safety as you can see right here the chamber is empty the rifle is unloaded uh, in there you can actually see the uh, trigger tech diamond trigger very very appreciative of those guys they they uh, help me out more than I could uh, possibly uh, imagine and in, in, in way far more than than what I expected or deserved and, and those guys uh, they've got a customer for life for that uh, up here you can see I'm running a loophole mark 5 HD with a uh, spur 5006 mount uh, I run mills um, down here you got the magpul um, magazine extension and trigger guard uh, Magpul sells this. I mean, you can you can buy this in the store by itself. Um, it's it's really nice. What I really like about it here is it offers this lip right here offers some protection for the magazine. Let me get an unloaded mag here. As you can see, that mag is unloaded. Slide that up into the magazine well. Good attachment. Uh, I have found in positional shooting, especially. If I put weight on the rifle and it pushes up against the mag, you can see the mag lever right there, mag release lever, moving backwards and forwards. Um, 
this has caused me problems in the past because it has made it to where I, I can't chamber my rifle. And I tell you what, in a competition or in a tactical environment, uh, when you can't get your bolt to close, uh, the last thing that you think about is, am I putting pressure on the magazine um, that, that's preventing it from, from the bolt from sliding home and chambering that round. Uh, moving forward, uh, a barrel, proof research barrel, carbon fiber, um, very happy with it. This is my 308 um, rifle, so eventually this will be, I'm changing this barrel out, I'm going to switch to a 6.5 Creedmoor on this chassis, and my old chassis is going to, uh, uh, my old action is going to get this barrel put on it, and it's going to be seated in my old chassis. Uh, moving forward, you got M-lock attachments. And again, the night vision uh, rail here. M-lock attachments on the bottom for Picatinny. Thanks for stopping by Spectral Precision, taking a look at this unboxing of a MagCool Pro 700 chassis. So I'm going to take this out, put it through its paces, try and record what I can, put some good groups down range at 100 yards, and then eventually stretch it out to uh, 1,000 yards or so. This is my first foray into making videos. I'm a shooter. I'm not a uh, video personality uh, by any stretch of the imagination. That said, I'm sure there are many other things you could have been watching, but I appreciate you know, looking at my ugly mug for the last 15 minutes or so. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Leave a comment. I'll answer them the best I can. If I don't know the answer, I'll research the answer, and I will get back to you. Um, take a look at spectralprecision.com, sign up, become a member. We're putting out blog posts usually on a weekly basis. I've got some great instructors that work with me and that are helping me put this together. It really is a labor of love. If you're one of those folks that, that likes to be arrogant or a troll, I guess is what they're called, uh, do your best. You're not going to affect me at all. I, they say that you really don't want to piss off a guy that can end you from another zip code. But, you know, you do you. <laughs> All right. Stop by and we'll see you next time.